Hello there everybody, I'm Brixio, and uh, I haven't made a video in a while, so you might be wondering why, and um, the reason for that is because I went on a trip, and um, yeah, it was a little um, four-day trip, yeah, four-day trip, and um, I stopped by Lego store, and I was happy to see that they had the January to June magazine so not the catalog or the calendar the magazine so let's uh just take a quick look through it and so many of you have requested i did this after seeing my last uh, magazine review so thank you for that but uh yeah we got the league movie two main characters on the front and there will be no spoilers uh for the league movie two in this little kind of magazine walkthrough but i have uh done reviews for the league movie two a spoiler review and a non-spoiler review so whichever one suits you you can go check that out let's skip uh the duplo stuff hmm, maybe if i could get a wider angle sorry about some of the lego related stuff i have around and there we go so yeah we got some duplo stuff there we go <laughs> that was annoying me but duplo and i'll hold this better once you know we get past all this duplo stuff because I don't think we, anyone really wants to see this. Oh, the Toy Story coming soon. Yeah, so it's, we already have um, that set released. The Lake Movie 2 Duplo set. Yeah, a lot of people want that just because they're Duplo. Um, yeah. Okay, Juniors, which we can actually take a look at Juniors. Oh, that's it's okay. That's it's bad, bad. Uh, that's pretty nice. Expensive. Eh, that's okay. And then we got a lot of these classic crater boxes. Kind of want this, not to travel with it or anything, but just to kind of store my pieces. Love the new big base plate. Well, it's kind of old now, but I remember I was freaking out when that was first revealed. So crater uh, sets. Crater sets without minifigures don't interest me. And then this one with minifigures doesn't really interest me that much either, though. Just too good. He, he loves this set, and I have no idea why. Well, I, I get it. I get why he likes it so much, but... It was his thousandth review, by the way, so let's move on. That crater set is actually pretty nice. Two of those kind of dino builds, or one mythical creatures build. Uh -huh. um, just I like the uh, idea of this set because we got an arcade and a skate park in LEGO. Like That was really cool to see because it's something that we don't get too often from LEGO, but then it wasn't portrayed well. Good uh, way to get a cheap... Uh, uh, lego roller coaster like the toy story 4 sets do have one but you know that's just a loop this actually has some humps and it's pretty nice okay the disney stuff um uh, still juniors oh sorry four plus wait what uh they now replace juniors with four plus though so still says juniors here and then here it says four plus is it different is juniors less than four plus i don't i don't believe so Anyway, I don't care for this princess stuff that much, though. I do want that, the magic carpet. It's one of those uh, kind of pieces introduced in the Joker matter for the funhouse mirrors. Some more Disney stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, you know, I can't find good Lego Friends reviews anywhere. Like, Just Too Good barely reviews them. Jane Bricks doesn't review them that much. Like... Uh, he buys the sets, though he doesn't review them, because a lot of people don't like to watch them, though I personally do. So I wish that he did, but um, I don't think I'll get these. I don't know. They're 10 bucks, kind of pricey for a figure and accessories. But the main thing is the build. It's just I wish I could find decent LEGO Friends reviews. And that's why I'm kind of inexperienced with these sets. But we got, and no one even does news videos when new sets, friend sets come out. So uh, this is kind of like my first time seeing these. That looks okay. I wish I knew the price. Probably forty dollars. I don't know. Even thirty dollars seems a bit much for that. For a plus set, what is this? Oh, painting gallery. I want to see the interior. But again, no one reviews them. Uh, you got that right there. Oh, that's a nice house. Yeah, Mia's house. Friends is cheaper than City, and a lot of the time the builds are better. Okay. Uh, nothing too interesting here. Oh, is that like a bigger heart? Yeah, two figures. So that's like a two-pack. 
looks like a fifteen dollar set than if the others are five. Uh, Andrea's accessories store. That set is just so bad. Anyway, we got one more here, the Heart Lake City Resort. Uh, yeah, I think Jay Brooks did review this one actually. And yeah, I think I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Not gonna spend a hundred dollars on it. I gotta go a bit quicker. I'm taking uh my time. But oh my god, this is a uh, pretty cool. You get to customize your own cart, and I like the build for it, especially for the spray paint can. That looks awesome. I do want this set thirty dollars, twenty three dollars on sale is a steal. You get a little race cart, a little movie theater, and then that restaurant, that big set right there. Oh, okay. Here it actually looks cool. Like. The reason I said Friends is better than City now is, come on, Sky Police, like, so many people have made, they've made fun of that, um, but, you know, this actually looks cool right here, and then you got the kind of blueprints, yeah, we're gonna skim through this stuff, uh, I, I like to check out the kind of water pumps, oh my god, the play feature where, like, the, uh, porta potty comes out, and then the guys left there is amazing, and then when you hit the RC event, all these flames come up, yeah, that's a pretty great set, actually, uh, I want to check out the water cannon, the lion sandbag, the water pup, and the, the water cannon again, I guess. Um, this set, a lot of people like $40. I, no, I'm not going to. That's a good set, actually, which I didn't have in my kind of city news video, but I didn't know it was out, and a lot of people actually missed that one. Sky Police. This Air Force base is just disappointing. Reminds me of a junior's build. Anything good here? Uh, that doesn't seem 10 bucks. Maybe 7. We got some more city. Oh, this is the old mountain police stuff. So, that's kind of old. Is this? This is the 2017 stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't keep track of police stuff that much. Um, that's... Yeah, this set is nice. The harvester, though. Again, not useful to me. It's city. Uh, I kind of want this, like the two smaller trucks. I just kind of like getting them. The yacht build is, eh, it's average. That set is nice. That set is great. Some train stuff. I'm interested in trains. They're just so expensive. Like, I really want this, but it's like, what, $170? I, I know it's motorized and all, but still. Ooh, the Lego V2 CMF. So I haven't gotten any of these yet, so let's talk about them. I did videos on, like, how to get all of them in the perfect order. But, yeah, the Lego Movie 2. And I did see this, by the way. Oh, yeah, I mentioned that before in my reviews, but... Uh, let's do my quick thoughts on these. Bad. I want all the Wizard of Oz characters. Don't know why Scarecrow is separate. Abraham Lincoln is great. Costume characters I do like. However, I do understand why people don't. Emmett's kind of boring. You know, I, I do love, like, all his accessories and the face and hair, but I don't know. I'm not paying $4 for that. In my opinion, blind bags are overpriced. I don't need musical characters at all, except maybe this one. Oh, shoot. That's a spoiler. I'm so sorry, guys. Um... But that is a uh, spoiler alert, a late spoiler alert. That is a uh, flashback, Lucy. But anyway, it wasn't in the movie. But anyway, um, we got that monster fire. We don't want that. Don't want that. I want the president business. So basically, I want the Wizard of Oz, the costume characters, the president business, flashback Lucy, and the Abraham Lincoln. And then a little advertisement for the leg movie too. And then you got, what is that? Oh yeah, for the movie maker set. Okay, Lego Movie 2 sets. That one I like. Uh, I definitely want that one. Uh, this one I'll pass. This one I want. This is such a cool build, but I'll have to pass. Queen whatever its box is just too expensive. And then we got that. That is, it seems overpriced for $20. Come on. And my mic is broken, by the way, so that's why the sound could sound a bit off. I'm trying to get a replacement. But Pop and Party Bucks is great. Expensive, though. Over, uh, the difference between expensive and overpriced. This is expensive. That is just plain overpriced. Um, that's a cute set. I'll get it for sale for like what twelve bucks. I'm assuming. Nice set. Expensive. And then Benny Space Quad. Oh my God, I gotta get that. Maybe even multiple of. So many people love that set. Oh, the Spider Man 2019 sets. Uh, okay. Um, no, fifty dollars. No. That's too expensive. And then the little poly bag uh, includes the old Spider-Man. I hate that. But the figure right there, the 20, not 2020, 20, 20, oh, it's right there. 2,099 Spider-Man is great. Uh, I think I'll get this set just to try out the line. I won't get any of the others, though. 
uh, Avengers Infinity War sets. Surprisingly, well, they took away the Corvus Glaive set because that is very unpopular. And that's they fit it all into one page. And then they have a blank page for the Avengers Endgame sets that are coming soon. That set is old, old, old. Want this over, uh, not over, eh, it's kind of overpriced, but mainly expensive. And then, uh, none of these interest me. People will like getting the Ocean Master because of, um, his role in Aquaman. Though this isn't based off, well, it's based off Aquaman, but not the movie. It's based off the comics, but people will be, um, interested into getting that figure just for that reason. Even if it's, uh, inaccurate. Uh, speed champions, all I want is one car and I'm done, but if I do get a car, that one's pretty cool. Though I'm always into the McLarens, like this McLaren Senna is great. I love the orange McLaren, I don't know the exact names, but this also interests me. I don't know, that just looks kind of plain to me. Oh yeah, we're getting uh, towards the end, we still haven't hit Star Wars yet, as usual. Like, they follow the same layout and what themes they show. Anyway, we got Boost, and then, as you've seen, Ninjago, and then we'll get into Star Wars, and then Technic, and then, like, an ad for, like, Architect or a modular building, I assume. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Legoland, uh, okay. The Lego Ninjago Legacy set's expensive, and I'm not too much into Ninjago. Expensive, like, it's not expensive, it's just that I'm not gonna pay that much for something from Ninjago, because I'm not into it. Expensive might pick up... Uh, it's so much like the Lego Ninjago movie one that I might not pick up. Might pick up, um, I like the big giant fig, just like the Ant-Man, which I'm still trying to get. The spinners, oh my god, this advertisement right here looks, that looks so cool, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna try out one of these spinner sets every time they release these kind of spinners. I try and get one, but, yeah, this, this advertisement right here looks so cool. Oh, now we are the old sets. Well, relatively old, 2018. That one's nice. But when you combine it with Boost, it just looks so bad. I haven't done it, though I've seen pictures. And then, that's a great set. Destiny's Bad Tea, that is a beauty. Uh, I still need this to provide it to Lego Ninjago City. Do they show Lego Ninjago City? No, Harry Potter stuff, I forgot. Because this is so new that I forgot that they'd have to put this in here. I've gotten all of these, but they're all great. Got in all of those, and oh my god, what did they take out from here? So let's see the popular ones. They took out Hogwarts Express. They showed both the Fantastic Beasts. That's kind of surprising. They took out the Quidditch match, and yeah, I think that's all they took out, right? Let's see. They got three sets. No, they took out Quidditch match, the Hogwarts Express, and... Nope, they got Aragog's Lair. Yeah, I think that's all of it. I think what set is missing? I'm drawing a bit of a blank. Star Wars, and it has that nice new box art right there. I don't know. I just expected this to be overpriced because of what we've seen in the past. You know, I thought it would be $70, so it's $50. And I don't know. It kind of changed my look on this set. Though, again, it's from, like, the third or second movie. So, don't really need it. Like, it could fit into either of those movies. Elite Playtime uh, Guard Battle Pack. I ordered one of those. Though, all the, all the Lego stuff I'm ordering, I'm shipping to the new address and not this old address. Because then we don't have to pay shipping to take it to the new address. So, I ship it directly to our new address, which I am moving to um, in this summer. During May 31st. But, anyway, uh, that's why... Um, I'm gonna have like a lot of Lego stored up there after the move, but to start escape I also ordered that and I want to get a second one of these to have like the full set of Praetor Guards since I am planning on getting Snoke's throne room on a sale, but yeah, I ordered one of each of these Didn't order that one That one is like $70 like this seems better than this and this is cheaper. It even seems bigger and stuff, but Next page, micro fighters, expensive, not expensive, just won't get, won't get, um, uh, I own this one, don't need these, and I did put in a order for the Force Awakens of Millennium Falcon, but anyway, I don't really need that, and, oh, I want this junior set, out of all the juniors, I like this one the best, sorry, four plus, I like this one the best, like, those two are, eh, this one's definitely the worst, and the most expensive, but, some more Star Wars, the Porg, not for me, not for me, uh, own this, own this, I don't need that much of an expensive X-Wing, you know, like a $30 mid-scale would be great, but a BB-8, I do want this, but, uh, again, I don't want to spend that much on a display model, that's, um, 
uh, expensive, reviewed, overpriced. I still want this. This set is great, though it's overpriced. You are noticing the trend here. Overpriced, but yeah, the guess I'll run Millennium Falcon solo was so bad, but in my opinion, anyway, you got the two speeders, the TIE fighter, and the Technic stuff right here, which doesn't really interest me. Yeah, we're coming to an end now. Yeah, just skipping through this. Oh, the Bugatti Chiron, that's a beauty. Did I pronounce that correctly? Chiron or Chiron? I don't know. Mindstorms. It's so cool how it can turn into all of these, but. And now let's wait for the, I said it would be huh, a modular or architecture ad. Let's see. I was wrong. It's um, a Lego life ad. Eh, go figures. But yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.